friends let me tell you about this marginal costing session today we are going to start with the chapter marginal costing and we are going to solve it from icai module and let me tell you what wonderful sums icai has kept in this module so much of variety that you just cannot skip it okay today in this session i'll be trying to cover up most of the sums but let's see how much i can do it okay so friends this session is about marginal costing icai module and friends in this session we will try to solve the sums on our own first of all so are you ready it's already 9 so let me start with the session okay so once again welcome everyone to the session of costing we are here to solve marginal costing icai module myself professor ca devangi shah i teach costing for ca inter and ca final level friends all the best for your may 22 exams and let me tell you if you still feel that you are not confident with the subject please download my app costing by devangi and let me know your concern i am here to help you only if you download my app i can get connected to you there is no other way and friends let me tell you for may 22 we have a crash course of 37 hours right this is fully exam oriented which covers all the concepts supported by sums of it a thorough exam oriented uh, crash course has been made by me okay and secondly for november exams we have a regular course which is going on so friends if you are interested please download my app and get to know more about these courses and friends if you don't want to buy still it's okay download the app and you can ask me your questions okay so this is the way we can stay connected and now let's get back to this session that is marginal costing now when i solve icci module firstly i presume that you know the basic things about marginal costing marginal costing is exclusively used for decision making friends in business whenever i want to take a uh, decision like should i sell this product at what price i should sell this product right should i continue or discontinue with this product many many such important decisions are taken using marginal costing in fact the name of the chapter is decision making when you go to ca final this chapter is so very important in ca inter because it builds a foundation for your ca final okay quickly i will take 5 minutes of time to go through the formulas that are there in this okay so let's go to the formulas i'll tell you exactly where it is please scroll down so friends we must start with this marginal cost statement it is sales minus variable cost gives you contribution minus fixed cost gives you profit this is a profitability statement made as per marginal costing so with this we get two formulas for contribution friends contribution would be equal to variable cost plus sales and uh, sorry contribution would be equal to sales minus variable cost or it would be profit plus fixed cost so friends is idhar se humko do formulas mil jate hain contribution ke sales minus variable cost and profit plus fixed cost and then we get this contribution in rupees suppose if i want to know my contribution percentage what percentage contribution i earn that percentage contribution is nothing but friends pv ratio it is nothing but contribution upon sales in 200 okay or if there are two data given for two periods like week 1 week 2 month 1 month 2 in that case you can use this formula as well it will be change in profit minus uh, sorry change in profit divided by change in sales in 200 welcome shri charan so friends two formulas for contribution sales minus variable cost and two formulas for contribution uh, profit plus fixed cost right then two formulas for pv ratio contribution upon sales in 200 and change in contribution divided by change in sales in 200 okay 
so these are the formulas for contribution and pv ratio now we go to break even analysis what is break even point friends it is that point where a manufacturer makes no profit no loss that is the meaning but my friends what is the need of this bp just like you students they need to know their passing marks we need to get at least 40 to pass similarly a manufacturer needs to know its bp that we have to sell at least this much so that we can progress we need to sell at least this much to survive so just like a student who needs to know its passing marks in exam a manufacturer needs to know bp for you know its survival okay this is a minimum sales the company must do in order to achieve the break even okay how it is calculated so again there will be <clears throat> two formulas if you want in units it will be fixed cost upon contribution per unit if you want in rupees in value friends it will be fixed cost upon pv ratio so it is fixed cost upon contribution per unit or fixed cost upon pv ratio got it friends so this is the formula for b so far two formulas for contribution two for pv ratio and two for b the next formula that you should know is margin of safety how to calculate margin of safety it is sales exceeding the break even sales is called margin of safety first i am covering up all the formulas and then i'll go to the sums margin of safety where are you so here it is margin of safety friends it is bp that is a minimum sales the manufacturer has to do but that doesn't mean manufacturer will do that much sale only of course his sales will go beyond the bp and that sales beyond the bp are nothing but margin of safety sales friends okay so how do you find margin of safety very simple total sales minus break even sales that is margin of safety or you can do profit upon pv ratio or profit upon contribution per unit so this is how margin of safety can be calculated it will be profit upon contribution per unit to get in units or profit upon pv ratio to get in okay so friend these are the formulas for calculating margin of safety so once again let's repeat two formulas for contribution sales minus variable cost and profit plus fixed cost two formulas for pv ratio contribution upon sales into 100 or change in profit upon change in sales into 100 then two formulas for bp fixed cost upon contribution per unit and fixed cost upon pv ratio two formulas for margin of safety profit upon pv ratio or profit upon contribution per unit okay and friends the last one that i would like to teach is through this marginal costing statement that i showed you at the beginning it's here many a times friends examiner will give you profit that the desired profit is this much calculate sales so friends you need to go reverse right what you will do you will take desired profit plus fixed cost desired profit plus fixed cost you will get the contribution divided by contribution per unit to get the number of units to be sold or you can divide it by pv ratio to get the sales value okay so this is a formula for desired sales or required sales it is desired profit plus fixed cost upon pv ratio or contribution so friends these are the set of formulas that you should know two formulas for contribution two for pv ratio two for bp two for margin of safety and friends two for desires the total there are 10 formulas and suppose friends if you don't remember the formulas or you think you're not confident then just to make this marginal costing statement let me tell you all these formulas are derived from all these formulas are derived from the profitability statement itself because we have you know less of time in this we i'm i'm not able to go in depth right um, so now let's quickly solve the sum because this session is all about solving icai module let us start with illustration number 1 this
so glad that so many students have joined in and here it is illustration 1 mnp limited sold 275000 units of its product at 37.5 per unit so ye hai selling price variable cost is 17.5 selling price 37.5 variable cost 17.5 Manufacturing cost is fourteen and selling cost is three point five and this is how the total is seventeen point five. Fixed cost are incurred uniformly throughout the year, amounting to thirty five lakhs, including depreciation of fifteen lakhs. There are no beginning or ending inventories. Compute break even level of sales quantity and cash break even sales level quantity. So friends, they want BP in units. Now, friends, how to solve the sum? Whenever there is this required part given, first understand what exactly it is. BP in quantity. For this, I know the formula. BP in quantity is nothing but fixed cost upon contribution per unit. Just think in your mind. This is the formula: fixed cost upon contribution per unit. Now, let us take one thing at a time. Numerator fixed cost. Do I have it? Yes, it is thirty-five lakh. The denominator contribution per unit. Do I have it? No. it is to be calculated so friends we first will calculate contribution per unit and then apply this bp formula to get the answer okay so friends let me take up a sheet we are into marginal costing illustration 1 i will not be writing properly here because i need to solve more number of sums okay so what i want you to derive from this lecture is the approach of solving how am i solving how am i thinking this is what you need to learn today friends so firstly i need to get contribution per unit that would be nothing but selling price minus variable cost I already know my selling price that is thirty-seven point five, and I know my variable cost, which is seventeen point five. So I get a contribution of twenty per unit. So now easily I can apply BP in quantity. That is fixed cost upon contribution per unit. Fixed cost is thirty-five lakhs. and contribution per unit is 20 what is the answer it is 175000 units so this answer means that when this company mnp limited will sell 175000 units it will be able to recover all its cost and by selling 175000 units there will be no profit no loss when this company sales will exceed this 175000 the company will start making profit so this is the meaning of bp they have also asked us again bp but they are asking us cash bp now friends when they ask me cash bp what i'll take is the cash fixed cost and the cash contribution per unit basically the non cash items will be subtracted my fixed cost is 35 lakhs but out of this there is 15 lakhs depreciation and depreciation is a non cash item so it will be subtracted and contribution is always your cash one so friends i get 20 lakhs divided by 20 one lakh units is the cash b So friends, when the company MNP Limited will sell one lakh units, it will be able to cover all its cash cost. Okay, one lakh seventy-five thousand. Its total BAP it will be able to cover all its cost with the cash or non-cash. So friends, this is how I C A I can ask you BAP, cash BAP, and total BAP. I hope you have understood the sum and have a look at the solution. We have done it right. Okay, now we come to multiple product BAP. now friends this is something very interesting okay first tell me the two formulas of bp in units 
it is fixed cost upon contribution per unit and bp in rupees it is fixed cost upon pv correct we already know this formulas but friends like we did in illustration one we had just one product in many sums that you solve and when you use this formula friends the company is dealing in one product the sums are made like this but practically if you see no company deals in just one product right company is diversified company deals in two or more products so when company is dealing in two or more products how will you calculate the company's bp so friends when there are multiple products bp is calculated like this in the numerator we will take up total fixed cost okay the total fixed cost of the company as a whole we will take total fixed cost of the company divided by what contribution per unit pv ratio but friends this contribution per unit will be of a product suppose if the company is selling a b c i should take contribution of what a or b or c or together what it should be so friends here what is to be done is contribution will be taken of all the three products on weighted average basis so when you have multiple bp your formula will be total fixed cost of the company divided by weighted average contribution per unit and in case of pe ratio you can take weighted average pe ratio or you call it combined pe okay so when there is multiple product please note this my friends when there is multiple product okay the formula will be total fixed cost of the company divided by weighted average contribution per unit and when it is in rupees it is total fixed cost of the company divided by combined pv ratio okay now friends let us try to apply this in illustration number 2 it is yeah it's example 4 over here arnav limited sells two products j and k the sales mix is four units of j and three units of k right the company if it is selling four units of j it will sell three units of k so basically the sales ratio is 4 is to 3 right company sells more of j and less of k the contribution per unit is 40 and 20 the fixed cost is 6 lakh 16000 per month okay and what you have to do is calculate the combined bp for arnav limited exactly arnav limited has to break even how will arnav limited break even by selling so much of j and so much of k so what will be that break even quantity this is what is to be computed so friends what will arnav limited do we are doing example number 4 arnav limited will calculate bp like this bp in units it will be total fixed cost of the company divided by weighted average contribution per unit total fixed cost is 6 lakh 16000 we know this now how to calculate this weighted average contribution per unit i'll do this working here here what we do is we take contribution per unit multiplied by the weights of product multiplied by the weights of product and these weights are nothing but sales mix quantity so we have two products j and k contribution is how much it is given as 40 and 20 so 40 per unit 20 per unit and the sales ratio is 4 is to 3 correct so it is 4 by 7 and 3 by 7 these are the weights of the product the sales ratio will be the weights remember this so now what do you get 22.86 and 8.57 total it you get 31.43 so friends weighted average of this j and k is 31.43 and now get the bp in unit 6 lakh 16000 divided by 31.43 you get 19599 point something 
it will be around 600 only okay so what does this mean arnav limited the company has to sell overall 19600 arnav limited company ko total 19600 bechna hoga dono j aur k milakar the company in totality has to sell 19600 units okay tab jaakar company ka break even hoga okay when the company sells this 19600 it will break even but the point is company will sell 19600 but how much of j how much of k out of this so friends for the company vp is 19600 units out of this j and k will be how much so it will be 19600 4 by 7 and 19600 okay so what do you get 11200 and 8400 so friends this is how company's bp and product wise bp is computed when a company is dealing in multiple products i hope you have understood this very uh, uh, very nicely single product multiple product how to calculate bp please write in the comment section if you have understood please and then we move further yes please now we move on to illustration number 2 you are given the following particulars fixed cost is 150 variable cost is 15 and selling price is 30 Okay, calculate BP and sales to earn profit of twenty thousand. So, friends, how to calculate BP? It is fixed cost upon contribution per unit. Fixed cost is one lakh fifty thousand. Contribution per unit will be sales minus variable cost. That is thirty minus fifteen. You get fifteen. So, one lakh fifty divided by this fifteen, you get ten thousand units. Correct, friends, and this will be your break-even point. Then is calculate sales to earn profit of twenty thousand. So friends, when you want profit of twenty thousand, what will be the sale? This is the question. So friends, we use the formula of required sales, which is desired profit plus fixed cost upon contribution per unit. Your desired profit is twenty thousand. Your fixed cost is one lakh fifty, and your contribution per unit is fifty. What do you get? One lakh fifty plus twenty thousand divided by Friends, it is thirteen thousand. Sorry, eleven thousand three thirty three units. Point three recurring. So, if the company sells these many units, it will be able to get profit. They have asked you sales. So, in order to convert the sales units into rupees, just multiply this by. Selling price of thirty. Get the value as three lakh forty thousand. You're going to sell this many units multiplied by selling price of selling price of thirty. Get the sales value as three lakh forty thousand. So this is one of the easiest sum ever. Okay, let's proceed further. to illustration number 3 a company has a pv ratio of 40% compute by what percentage sales must be increased to offset 20% reduction in selling price now this is one of the very tricky question and see the question is just of two lines but don't think that the answer will be of just one or two lines okay you need to understand this and have patience in understand the given pv ratio is 40% okay So, if I were to understand this PV ratio forty percent, what it would mean? Illustration number four. अगर PV ratio forty percent है, इसका मतलब ये होता है कि selling price आपका hundred है and contribution आपका forty है. Means your variable cost is. Okay, it means this. Your PV ratio is forty percent. Okay. 
नाउ वॉट इज गोइंग टू चेंज क्या चेंज होने वाला है सेल्स मस्ट बी इंक्रीज टू ऑफसेट ट्वेंटी परसेंट रिडक्शन इन सेलिंग प्राइस हमारा जो सेलिंग प्राइस है वो ट्वेंटी परसेंट से कम होने वाला है ओके तो बॉस क्या चेंज होगा सेलिंग प्राइस इज हंड्रेड सिक्सटी फोर्टी दिस इज द प्रेजेंट सिनारियो एंड चेंज और रिवाइज विल बी दिस योर सेलिंग प्राइस विल रिड्यूस बाय ट्वेंटी परसेंट सो इट विल बिकम एटी got it it will become 80 so by with this change what will happen so friends isse kya hoga agar aapka selling price kam ho gaya hai variable cost thodi na kam hoga to seedha seedha aapka contribution kam ho raha hai so contribution is reducing by 50% hai na 40 tha 20 ho gaya okay so yaar ye panga ho gaya this is the change okay so what If this is a change, the question is asking you focus on this. By what percentage sales must be increased to offset the change? So, my dear friends, if I ask you, if this is the data, if this is the data for one unit, okay, you are selling the product at eighty, your variable cost is sixty, you are earning twenty rupees contribution. This data for one unit, and now you need forty contribution as you used to. earn earlier then what should be the change in sales how many units you will sell so it is simple to answer friends you need to sell two units it means that now in order to earn the same profit the same contribution you will have to double your sales quantity right you used to sell one unit and earn 40 now you will sell two units to earn that 40 that means your sales quantity need doubled got it quantity double means increase by 100% okay so friends if i double the quantity my sales will now be 160 my variable cost will be 120 now if they ask you what will be the change in value what is the increase in value so friends earlier the sales were 100 to earn profit of 40 now you need to get the sales of 160 to earn pv ratio 40 so this increase is 60 on 100 that is nothing but sales value will be increasing by i hope you have understood this friends please write in the comment section have you understood this sum First we were earning forty. Now we are earning twenty. So now to earn twenty, quantity should be doubled and sales value should be increasing by sixty percent. Please let me know in the comment section if you have understood the sum. Okay, now let's move further to the next sum. We have written so much of description. Now let's go ahead. Illustration number four. PQR as far as the following details for the two years, nineteen twenty and twenty twenty one. Sales is given eight lakhs. PV ratio fifty percent. Margin of safety as percentage of total sales is forty percent. Now, when they say margin of safety is forty percent, it clearly tells me that my BEP will be six. Right? If margin of sales is forty percent, your BEP will be six. There has been substantial savings in the fixed cost in the year 2021 due to restructuring process. The company could maintain its sales quantity level of 1920 in 2021 by reducing the selling price. You are required to calculate the following: sales for 2021 in value, fixed cost for 2021, and break-even sales for 2020. Okay, so whatever data they have asked is for 2021. And let's read this again. There are substantial savings in fixed cost. Okay, so fixed cost is going to be less in 2021 as compared to 1920, and the company could maintain its sales quantity level by reducing the selling price. That means the quantity will be same. Okay, so now we have to calculate the sales. You have to calculate fixed cost, and you have to calculate B. So first of all, you should know all these things for the given year 1920. 
So let us have a look at that. In 1920, PV ratio is 50%. Correct? And if PV ratio is 50%, obviously balance 50% will be variable cost. Okay. So friends, 8 lakhs is the sales. In 1920, your variable cost will be 4 lakhs and your and your uh, contribution would be 4 lakhs, correct? 8 lakh sales minus variable cost 4 lakhs and your contribution would be 4 lakhs, okay? So this is the PV ratio. This is the, the, the profitability statement I would say for this. Further, what they have given is margin of safety is 40%. Okay. And break even is 60%. So, what I would do here is pay attention. I am telling you this for illustration number is 4. Okay. Illustration 4 for 1920. Sales 8 lakhs, variable cost 4 lakhs and contribution 4 lakhs. PV ratio is 40%. So what will be BEP formula? Friends, it will be fixed cost upon PV ratio. Correct? And BEP as I know is 60% of 8 lakhs. Margin of safety is 40%. So BEP will be 60%. Fixed cost I don't know. PV ratio is 40%. Get 4 lakhs 80. What will be fixed cost, friend? Fixed cost for 1920 would be 1,92,000. Fixed cost for the year 1920 would be 1,92,000. Okay? This is, friends, what they've got it. <coughs> Now, the data that I need here further, minus fixed cost 1,92,000, I get profit as how much? 4 lakhs minus 1,92,000, I get 2,8,000. So friends, this completes the data for the year 1920. Now friends, let us have a look at the year 2021. PV ratio is 37.5% and margin of safety is 21.875%. Okay. Calculate the sales, fixed cost and BP. Three things are asked. So how will you do it? In the year 2021, sales quantity has not changed. Who said this? It's already given the question. See here. The company could maintain its sales quantity, the same sales quantity. Does the variable cost is still 4 lakhs? Okay, so 4 lakhs which was the variable cost. Here, same continues to be variable cost here because the quantity has not changed. Okay, selling price will change but quantity has not changed, remember. So the cost of making has not changed, friends. Further, got to know this. Variable cost is 4 lakhs. Now in 2021, PV ratio is 37.5. So when they say 37.5 as PV ratio, friends, PV ratio is 37.5%. So 100 minus 37.5, you get variable cost as 62.5, which is 4 lakhs. 4 lakhs divided by 62.5%. Friends, you get sales at 6 lakhs 40,000. For the students, those who have not understood this, I'll repeat this again, friends. Quantity change nahi hua hai. Iska matlab variable cost jo banane ka kharcha hai, wo same rahega. Okay. Abhi PV ratio hai 37.5. So friends, hamara jo variable cost hoga, wo hoga 62.5 aur ye hoga 100. Correct? This is 4 lakhs. So 4 lakhs divided by 62.5, you get this has your sales and what will be contribution? Friends, it e lakh 40. So this is what is there 
for the year 2020 what we have calculated is sales for the year which is 6 lakhs 40 000. okay now they are asking you what will be bp the third part they have asked us bp so as i said here if 40% of margin of safety, 60% will be BP. So, friends, if 21.875% is margin of safety, so what will be BP? Your margin of safety is 21.875. So, your BP will be 100 minus 21.875. How much you get? It's 78.125%. Correct. So this will be your BP. So friends, BP, if you see, your sales is six lakhs forty thousand into seventy eight point one two five percent. You get five lakhs as your BP. So now we have got BP also. Friends, we first worked out sales. Now based on this, we have worked out BP. And the last point they are asking is fixed cost. So, using BP formula only, which is fixed cost upon PV ratio, I can get the uh, fixed cost here. BP is 5 lakhs. Fixed cost is to computed. PV ratio is 37.5. Correct? So, it is 37.5%. Come on, friends. Get the value of fixed cost. One lakh eighty-seven thousand five hundred. So, friends, this is this is the fixed cost value. Okay, I hope you have understood the sum. So, how we did it using the data for nineteen twenty? First of all, I made its profitability statement. Now, they said that the Quantity is not going to change. So, we took same variable cost. Then we found out sales. Then using sales, we found out BP. Then using BP, we found out the fixed cost. And this was the approach of the sum. I hope you have understood this, friends. Please let me know in the comment section, how did you find the sum? And now, let's move forward to the next sum. It's about break-even chart. We'll go with illustrations with this one. Illustration number five. Yeah. Illustration five. You are given the following data for the current financial year of Rio Company Limited. And this is the data. 60% is variable cost, which is 60,000. 30% is fixed cost, that is 30,000. And profit is 10,000. Sales is 1 lakh. So, if I were to make this in profitability statement format, it would be sales 1 lakh minus variable cost of 60,000 would give me contribution of 40,000 minus fixed cost of 30,000 would give me profit of 10. Correct, friends? This would be my profitability. Find out break even point, PV ratio, margin of safety. Also drop break-even chart showing contribution and profit. So, firstly, let us find out BP. How do you find out BP? It's so simple. Fixed cost upon uh, PV ratio. PV ratio is 40%. So, BP will be fixed cost upon PV ratio, which is 30,000 divided by 40%. You get 75,000 as your BP. Okay, then is PV ratio, we already got it 40%, margin of safety, so friends we have worked out BP is 75,000, so your margin of safety will be total sales minus break even sales, which is 1 lakh minus BP sales of 75,000, friends your margin of safety 25,000, it was so simple. But in this sum, what is important is break-even chart. Thank you. May I know your name, motivational staff? 
watching your costing uploaded lecture since last two days was very helpful thank you so much in fact i would recommend you to download my app costing by devangi where you will get more such stuff okay and friends you can message me your doubts you can get your doubts solved only if you download our app you will be able to stay connected please yeah coming back to this break even chart you need to find out contribution and profit so let us see the solved part See friends this is what we worked out now let's see this break even chart how to make break even chart friends in your x axis you will take the units and on y axis you will take rupees rupees may be cost rupees sales rupees both okay now what here we will do is we will plot few points and with that we'll draw a graph now how to do this pay attention they have said that 60000 is the variable cost okay so where is the 60000 friends basically 10000 20000 30000 40 100 is above so this will be zero i am so sorry 10 20 30 40 90 and 100 okay now where will be this 60000 variable cost it will be here okay 60000 cost going back to question now know where units are mentioned so we assume one unit one rupee like that only so we get here so sorry chart is here so we take 3000 as here okay similarly we have plotted the variable cost now we plot 30000 as fixed cost Fixed cost thirty thousand be here. Okay. Now, friends, talking about variable cost graph. Now, if I <coughs> if I make zero units, variable cost will be zero. If I make one unit, variable cost will be more. If I take two units, variable cost will go on increasing. So, friends, this is how your variable cost graph will be like this. right this is your variable cost graph fixed cost is 30000 friends fixed cost is incurred 30000 irrespective of the units i make so friends this will be your fixed cost graph it will be parallel to your x axis okay got it now <coughs> total cost graph needs to be plotted what is this total cost total cost is variable cost plus fixed cost and it will be like this 60000 variable cost fixed cost 30 total gets to 90 we'll plot this one here total cost is 90 now your bp that you have already got friends is 75000 we can plot this here 75 will be between 70 and 80 and here it will be between 70 and 80 got it and friends your total cost equation will start from here zero sorry not zero 30 because even if you make zero units your total cost will be 30 that is fixed cost and it will pass like this so the point where 
your total cost in sales graph meet which friends your total cost line and your sales line where they meet and that will be b okay so my friends you can try this i am not able to you know teach in that same graph what i would recommend is understand this okay i would make a fixed cost graph like this which will be parallel to x axis a variable cost graph like this okay it will keep on increasing okay as the number of units progress there are units and this is this is how your variable cost and your fixed cost graph will look like once they are done you will make total cost graph which graph total cost and it will pass from here okay this will be your total cost line it will start not from zero but from 30000 that is your fixed cost and then you would draw a sales line and the place where your total cost and sales line meet that will be got it so this is how your bp is to be computed plot total cost and plot sales line and the point where they meet that will be b now often students you know ask me how to draw these graphs we are not given such numbers okay so in that case what you can do is take multiple numbers like like i'll tell you the data that is given in the question in the question is this we have already written it here it's this right where sales is 1 lakh variable cost is 6 lakhs contribution is 4 lakh profit uh, sorry fixed cost is 5 i have numbers your sales is 1 lakh variable cost is 60000 contribution is 40000 fixed cost is 30000 your profit is 10 okay one data is given now make a similar table for another sales value let's say you take sales value as 80000 okay take a number which is lesser than 1 lakh okay so for this friends 40% pv ratio 32000 will be the contribution 48000 will be variable cost fixed cost will be still 30000 your profit will be 2 now take a number which is more than 1 lakh let's take it as 1 lakh 20 so 1 lakh 20 into 40% pv ratio you get 48000 variable cost will be 72000 fixed cost 30000 friends you get 18000 Okay, so now you have three sales figures. So with this three sales figures, you can draw a line of sale. You have three variable cost figures. So you can draw a variable cost line. You have three fixed cost. So plot this three on your variable cost. Uh, oh, sorry, on your graph. Fixed cost will be parallel to x-axis. Then find out total cost by adding this variable cost and fixed cost. Your total cost will be one lakh here. It will be seventy-eight thousand here, and it will be one lakh two thousand here. Now, using this three total cost, draw a line of total cost. Okay, then draw a line of this three sales, and the point where this total cost and sales line meet, that will be. Okay, so information will be given only at one level. you assume numbers and get two other levels and then only you will be able to plot it in your graph okay and then very simple the point where your total cost and sales line meet friends that will be the b okay so this is how break even chart is to be made
Hope you have understood this. And now let's not do more sums of graph. Let's proceed further with illustration number seven. A company earned a profit of thirty thousand during the year. If marginal cost and selling price are eight and ten, find out margin of safety. So how to find margin of safety, friend? It is nothing but profit upon contribution per unit. Profit is thirty thousand. Contribution is two. You get how much? Fifteen thousand units, friends. Fifteen thousand units will be margin of safety, but they have asked you amount. So fifteen thousand units will be sold at ten per unit sales value. Fifteen thousand into ten will give you one lakh fifty thousand as your margin of safety value. So you could use this contribution per unit. Get the margin of safety units multiplied by ten to get the value, <coughs> or you can do like this: get the PV ratio as twenty percent, and then profit upon PV ratio will directly give you the value. Both are right. Okay. Next. Hello, Gaurav. How are you? You want to say something? You have written thirty. What does this mean? Maybe you're answering something. Okay, I hope you are understanding the session. I hope you are getting knowledge from the session. Okay, please write me your views, your comments on the session in the chat box. I would be glad to know it, and also comment on the video after you finish this live session, and also share this video with maximum friends so that even they can take the benefit. okay i understand that opening ici module is such a painful task friends even when i was a student i did not dare to open it right And during my time this costing was of just 50 marks let me tell you the syllabus was same there was just abc costing was not there rest everything was there friend and all of this portion was just 50 marks and it was such a painful thing to open ici module and that is the reason why friend i like to solve ici module in live session because i know that only if i take initiative only if i do it my students will do it i recommend in my regular lectures also that open your books and do but i know that students are not going to do it right so i take the initiative and i'm helping you if you like this video please comment it okay chalo Let's proceed further with illustration number eight. A Limited maintains margin of safety of thirty-seven point five percent with an overall contribution to sales ratio. Contribution to sales ratio is nothing but PV ratio of forty percent. Okay, fixed cost is five lakh. Calculate break-even. Friends, BP is nothing but fixed cost upon PV ratio. Fixed cost is five lakh PV. So forty percent. So what do you get? Five lakhs divide by forty percent. You get twelve lakh fifty thousand as your break. What will be total sales? Total sales is nothing but break even sales plus margin of sales. Both should be included. So my dear friends, let me tell you. Your total sales are always hundred percent. Okay. They have given that margin of safety is thirty seven point five percent. Now, if margin of safety is thirty-seven five percent, friends, what will be BP? Please write in the comment section. What will be BP? It will be hundred minus thirty-seven point five. It will be sixty-two point five percent. Correct. It will be sixty-two point five percent. And friends, this BP we already know it is twelve lakh fifty. we just calculated it so friends what will be total 62.5 is 12 lakh 50 what will be 100% come on such a simple sum will be 20 got it so simple so we got bp we got the total sales as 20 lakhs now total variable cost friends if your 
PV ratio is 40%. That means your contribution is 40%. That means your variable cost is 60% of sales. You have got sales as 20 lakhs. Right? So your variable cost will be 20 lakhs into 60%. Because your PV ratio is 40%, your variable cost will be 60. You get it as 12 lakhs. Got it? Profit. How to get this profit, friends? Profit, you can get it with margin of safety sales. Okay? Or you can make a profitability statement to get the profit. You can do the way you want it. So, friends, my sales are 20 lakhs. Right? Into PV ratio of 40% gives me contribution of 8 lakhs. Minus fixed cost. My fixed cost is 5 lakhs. So I get a profit of 3. As simple as that. Right friends? Find out new margin of safety. If sales volume is increased by 7.5%. Now this is something new. Find out new margin of safety. If sales volume is increased by 7.5%, what does this mean? Friends, we have already worked out all these. My existing sales value is 20 lakhs. If it increases by 7.5%, so 20 lakhs plus 7.5% gives me 21,50. Okay, so what will be new margin of safety? Friends, my BP is 12,50 and it is not going to change. Okay. So, 21,50,000 minus 12,50, your BP, your new margin of safety comes to 9 lakh. The question is, new margin of safety and friends, that will be 9 lakh rupees. Okay? Your revised sales minus BP gives you new margin of safety. Got it? So, this is about margin of safety, we proceed further. And friends, whatever formulas I told you at the beginning of the lecture are all here. You must have a look at this once. Illustration 9 is very simple. I want you to manage on your own. Or let's do it in a, in a minute's time. It's very simple. Before I start, let me tell you, PV ratio is Contribution upon sales into 100. Got it? And how to, get, how to get this contribution? It is selling price minus variable cost, right? So basically, this is the formula for PV ratio. Now, friends, PV ratio will change if selling price changes. PV ratio will change if variable cost changes. PV ratio will change if the denominator selling price changes. Basically, change in any of these two, selling price variable cost will result to change in only if these two are constant, your PV ratio will remain same. And let us have a look at illustration number 9 with respect to this knowledge that we have. Let's read. By noting, PV ratio will increase or PV ratio will decrease or PV ratio will not change in the case may be. State how the following independent ratios will affect the PV. Increase in physical sales volume. Friends, if I sell two units. Selling price will double, variable cost will double. So basically your PV ratio will not change. Okay. Only if your selling price changes. Only if your variable cost changes it will change. So in case of 1, there will be no change in the PV. Increase in fixed cost. Remember, fixed cost has got nothing to do with PV ratio. So it will not change. Decrease in variable cost per unit. Yes, friends. If variable cost decreases... My contribution will increase and my PV ratio will also increase. Decrease in contribution margin. Friends, if contribution decreases, my PV ratio will also decrease. If selling price increases. Friends, if selling price increases, variable cost remaining same, my contribution will increase and my PV ratio will also increase. Decrease in fixed cost. Fixed cost has got nothing to do with PV ratio. 10% increase in both selling price and variable cost. Friends, when both increase in same proportion, PV ratio will remain unaffected. 10% decrease in selling price and 10% decrease in physical sales volume. So here there is no change in variable cost. Remember. 
So when there is increase in selling price, your PV ratio will increase. 50% increase in variable cost and 50% decrease in fixed cost. Friends, fixed cost has got nothing to do with PV ratio. So 50% increase in variable cost will reduce my contribution and my PV ratio will also reduce. Increase in angle of incidence. What is this angle of incidence first of all? I just told you about the graph. Right? So friends, this is BEP. Where your sales and total cost meet. And friends, this angle, the angle formed by sales and total cost line, this angle is called angle of incidence. The smaller the angle of incidence, the less the profit. The bigger the angle of incidence, higher the profit. Okay? So, what they are asking, increase in angle of incidence. So, friends, if there is increase in angle of incidence, your profits will be, that is PV ratio will increase. Fixed cost will not change. PV ratio that will increase. Okay? I hope you have understood this. You can read this. And they have asked angle of incidence earlier. Before actually teaching you what is angle of incidence, please read this on your own. You will understand. Okay. Now we move on. You want me to take more number of sums now or you want me to do part 2? Please let me know in the comment section. Yes, I am waiting for your answers, friends. Because the thing that is coming up now is a very different thing. You want me to take now or part 2? This is what I am asking you. Akshara, Sri Charan, Vivek, motivational stuff, by the way, what is your name, if you are there in the session? So, what I would do is, we had done the basic sums that were relating to the formulas, right? And, now the sums that we have are all of decision making. Okay. So one more powerful, impactful video of this marginal costing is coming your way. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay. Let me tell you there are this so many less number of subscribers and it is just because of you all. Reason 92% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel. Right? I am so disappointed with these numbers. And let me tell you, this does not motivate me at all. So, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay. So, friends, see you in session 2. Soon it will be announced. And also, friends, download my app to stay connected. Okay. Goodbye, good night. And all the best for your coming exams. Thank you.